Today's bull valves are offered in a multitude of choices. Materials, end connections, pressure and temperature ratings, with many more options available to suit all your specific isolation needs. The biggest change over the last decade has been the addition of a mounting plate, which has been added to many bull valves for the specific use and ease of actuation. The standard bull valves we offer come in designs of one piece, two piece and three piece construction. One piece is always reduced bore and this valve is commonly used on drains or vents where full flow isn't too important. Its cost is very economic, but is not repairable and not recommended to be used for actuation. The two piece valve is usually full bore. It is cost effective against the three piece valve though maintenance is not offered and cannot be welded in line. However, it features a mounting plate making it suitable for actuation. The three piece valve is probably the most popular offering many end connections including weld ends. The valve is fully maintainable and has options for mounting various technologies of actuation. Comprising of three sections, two end caps and one body section, it is held together by four bolts which are removed when maintaining the valve. This valve can be overhauled whilst on the pipe and in situ. By removing three of the body bolts, the centre section slides out and body seats and neck seals can be replaced. The valve is then bolted back up easily with a minimal amount of downtime. As described previously, there are different methods of operating a bull valve, and for manual operation, a lever handle is most common. However, more and more users are automating their plant and are looking to automatically operate the bull valve. There are two common forms of actuation today. One is electric motor driven, and the other is pneumatically operated. Both have their pros and cons, but overall remains the choice of the user.